That's yeah. right. Ain't That's that right. the truth? I've ever ever heard. Wow. Stop Amazing. It! Wow. High praise. It was so graceful and so hypnotic. And, and then I kept looking at you, and it was half poodle <laughs> and half moth. And I was like, let me just close my eyes because the voice and the the, the thing it's not making sense. But that was <laughs> the, uh, just such an unbelievable performance. <sighs> Thank you. All right, let's get a clue, shall we? Yes. Ooh. Cause you had to be a big shot uh -oh. Did you? What? You had to open up your mouth oh! Yeah. Oh. I got it You had to be a big yeah. shot <laughs> nice. Wow, is that the clue? Opry Randall Opry! Opry! Oh. It's the most famous theater in Nashville Yeah, I felt like a big shot when I performed at the Grand Ole Opry Wow! wow. That's amazing. Is that giving you guys any clues? Well, yeah, the Grand Old Opry, Nashville. I'm thinking country singer. And I think the cowboy hat could relate to this famous singer's husband, because he's a famous cowboy, Garth Brooks. Oh. Yeah. I'm thinking this could be Trisha Yearwood. Nice. Great guess. So I went down the country route too, you know. I, I, I thought, okay, well, who's performed at the Opry? And she's a published author. There was a book there. Could be a good guess. Winona Judd. <gasps> oh, wow. You know what? Yeah. Winona can sing. <laughs> Let me show you how it's done. Okay, go right? on, Ken. The poodle moth is Rita Wilson. I'll tell you why. Rita <laughs> Wilson? <laughs> Here's a connection. Six candles. This is the biggest clue. Rita Wilson has a song called Fire, and she has another called Spark. I'm lost, Ken. And if you put fire and spark together, that is the heat equivalent units of six candles. Look it up. It's basic <laughs> chemistry. <laughs> we teach you that. You know the what? heat Medical equivalent wait. units. He's a doctor and a scientist. As Sir Joel once said, we didn't start the fire because Rita Wilson is fanning the flames. Well, there it is. Y'all keep it going for Poodle Moth. Poodle Moth, you can fly on backstage. Men in black, they're being wingmen. So cute. She's adorable. So cute. I love her. Yeah. We love her just the way she is. I bet she's going to be good. Skip competition on this show.
It's nine o'clock on a Saturday. The regular crowd shuffles in. Wow. There's an old man sitting next to me, making love to his tonic and gin. He says, son, can you play me a memory? I'm not really sure how it goes, but it's sad and it's sweet, and I knew it complete when I wore a younger man's clothes. La, 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 diddy, da. La, la, diddy, da. a song tonight while well, we're all in the mood for a melody and you've got us feeling all right now John at the bar is a friend of mine he gets me my drinks for free and he's quick with a joke I to light up your smoke but there's some place that he'd rather be wow. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. he said sing us a song you're the piano man sing us a song tonight cause we're all in the mood for melody and you've got us feeling alright Witness greatness. Wow! I have a message to all the other contestants on this show. It is time to be scared, because this queen has arrived on The Masked Singer. Thank you so much. All right. Well, it is definitely time for a clue. Men in Black, I believe you guys have something special prepared for this one. The song's the clue. Take it away. One of Billy Joe's many hits, it's Deanna Clock. What can you tell us about this clue? Well, Deanna is all about seizing the day. Seizing the day. Seizing the day. And I actually have a date in my name. Oh, what? okay. We are in she has her I own it. day. Icon, icon. You know, there's a song called 365 Days in a Year from a Icon, a queen, a legend. Uh -huh. Her name's Anita Baker. Ooh. Oh, that would be amazing. Right? I think I'm onto something. I think you are. It's That's time good. everyone knows how great I am. <laughs> yes. It starts yes. now. Yes. It starts and ends it right starts, here, Jenny. It, it starts, starts now. It's Anita Baker. Yes, Anita good Baker. Guess. You know, the disco clue is really what's guiding me right now. And I'm trying to place the voice. She's one of the great disco soul singers of all time. I'm gonna go with Evelyn Champagne King. Ooh. Oh, that's a great guess. Honestly, this to me feels like this is Diana Ross. No if way. You, yeah, because she has her own day. I should know. It's like I have Ken Jung Day. Yeah. It's, it's let me finish. <laughs> Gold Globe, Golden yeah. Globe, Diana Ross won for Lady Sings the Blues. Also the baby clue. Baby love, my baby love. I mean, and, could oh, you imagine? Well, you know what, well, you can sing, I'll sing it too. Do it. Baby love, my baby love. Sing it, Ken. Yeah, Ken. Love well done, Ken. Thank you. But Nick, do you think it's Diana Ross? I mean, it's Diana Ross, Nick. No. Back me up, Daddy. You're my biological father. This is a biological clock. Help biological, me out. It's a biological <laughs> clock. <laughs> Well, whoever you are, we had an amazing time tonight. Thank you, Clock. You're amazing. Wonderful job. Y'all make some noise for the sensational Clock. One more time. 
Could you imagine if that's Diana? Could it be Diana? But would her hair fit in that clock? <laughs> it could be a chef, or it could be someone that plays a chef. Yep, very true. Or it could just be someone who loves food. Someone yeah. who loves food. I love food. I love food. <laughs> Don't let me wait. The Catholic girl stopped much too late. Oh, wow. oh, sooner or later, it comes down to fate. I might as well be the one. Well, they showed you a statue, told you to pray. They built you a temple and locked you away. Ah, but they never told you the price that you pay. The things that you might have done. I said that only the good die young. Wow. wow. Catholic girl stop much too late. Sooner or later it comes down the face. Oh you might as well you. be the one. You know that only the good die young. Wow! Yes! Tell me, baby. Woo! I said that only the good die young. Only the good die young. I said that only the good Betty and Spaghetti. Come on over here, Spaghetti. That's impressive. It was so good. It was giving every ingredient, honey. I have the menu, I have the wow. answers. I feel like I know what you're made out of, and that is called Superstar. That was a great performance. Wow, nicely done. Superstar. Well, lasagna, but we're not looking that close. Tu sei la bellissima. Grazie, grazie, grazie. All right, well, let's get a clue, right? Yes! Men in black, bring it out. Oh, wow. I got a new wife, got a new life, a giant pizza. Let's open it up, see what's inside. Oh, it's a real pizza. Oh, wow. Oh, that's a real oh, so showtime. Guys. I'm not even kidding. Showtime. I spend a good portion of my time on a hit show. On a hit on show. A, on a hit show. So he's an actor. He's been a good or, portion. Or, or, or a, a chef. host. Or, or a chef. host. Could be a still a chef. Yeah. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna go for it. You going in? I'm just going in. You know why? Because I'm gonna be the one that states the obvious. Yeah. Is he right in front of us? And is it a chef? Is that too on the nose? I don't know. But I'll never be the... said Ken Jung. Never. I'm just gonna go with someone that may have also been from my side of the pond and is a chef, has a big show called Master Chef. Mmm. I actually might think this is Gordon Ramsay. Good. Yes. He's got the hype. You know, I like your guess because I'm leaning into that kind of chef space as well. Okay. And I bumped into this guy at an airport and I was like, oh my God, I love diners, drive-ins and dives. Yes, me oh. too. Oh. That's small. Chef's hat, a sports car. That makes me think Ferrari, Fieri. Italian flag. This guy's Italian. Hello, Guy Fieri. Oh my God, I love that. That's, that's a good guess. That's really good. Well, I'm, I'm, getting, the, I'm getting the Italian stuff, and this um, famous actor has a cooking show called Stanley Tucci Searching for Italy. Oh, yeah. And I know he can sing so because talented. he sang in the Beauty and the Beast movie. Yes. Small. So I'm going to go with Stanley I Tucci. I love that guess, Robin. I love that guess. Well, one thing we do know, he's the real deal. He's no imposter. <laughs> Y'all keep it going. The spaghetti and meatball. Such a wonderful performance. All right. Pasta La Vista. This group does not disappoint. Absolutely. I think it's my favorite group. 
This sounds like a comedian to me. He's funny. Yeah. like a really expensive car. No, that's probably Nick's. <laughs> <laughs> um, I absolutely loved it. I don't know, man. I thought someone, now I don't. Your voice was amazing. Yeah. <laughs> it was really great. It was great. Thank you. All right. Well, let's get a clue, shall we? Yes! Bring it out. It comes down to reality. Oh, how cute! That's my car. That's my ride, guys. Oh, wow, it's a taxi. All right, it says billboards. 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 Is he a model? He sold records. I've had a number one billboard, and I'm not talking about Times Square. Whoa. Wow. Well, I've had eight number one billboard yeah. hits, mm. but I do think, <laughs> real talk, this may be Michael Bivens' A Bell Bib DeVoe, and more importantly, New Edition, who had number one hits on the Billboard charts like Candy Girl, and there was a heart shaped lollipop in the clue, so that's Candy Girl. And <laughs> out of all of the members of New Edition, why Michael Bivens? Because he's the tallest, Nick. No, he's not. He's the tallest <laughs> member he's of New Edition. He's actually the shortest. No, don't let it fool you. What are they feeding Ken on this show? <laughs> I know. But I know their voices too, and it's more of like Ricky Bell to me. Ricky Bell? Where did you come up with that guess? Oh my God, that doesn't make any sense. Ronnie DeVoe? Ronnie's the tallest. You just gonna just give every member a new addition. Jermaine well, it's Jackson. It's not Johnny Gill. I can recognize Johnny Gill's voice, but maybe it's Ralph. Ralph Tresvant's possible. There. You go with Ralph Tresvant. Yes, I am. Okay. Yeah. You know why? Because that voice kind of rubbed me the right way. That's Johnny Gill. That's Johnny Gill's song. I knew that. That was a test. <laughs> and you barely passed. 
My, my, my. What do you think, Robin? You know their voices. Yes, make some sense out of this, Robin. Um, uh, the only kind of name that's coming at me right now with that youthful energy, the ability to sing Christmas songs, had a number one record <laughs> on the charts. Could this be Ray J? Oh. Wow. <laughs> oh, look at him. That's my man. <laughs> Y'all know I love Ray J. I don't think Michael, so. Michael, are you okay? <laughs> that's a good one. That's, that's a good one. Well, you know, I'm not a fan of lizards, but we're definitely a fan of you. you. Yeah. There it is. Yes. Absolutely. The lizard came to play. Head on backstage. So no one steps on your tail. This one. All right. Whatever y'all doing. <laughs>